Hello, my friends. Welcome to my video. I'm so happy to have you here as always. Today, we're going to be checking out this package that MetaZoo had so generously sent over to me. I'm not sure what's inside. So what we need to do is flip this camera around, get this video started and take a look for ourselves. So I'm going to break out my trusty Mario knife and see what's inside. Uh, MetaZoo has sent me a few packages now. Uh, which, of course, I appreciate. And my favorite thing about opening these packages is getting to share the things I enjoy with you guys. I love my YouTube channel just because, you know, I get to meet people who like the same things that I do. Um, oh, I'm very curious to see what's in here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Whoa. Nightfall Wilderness. What is this? Oh, the plank. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to see what's inside. Oh, we got the playing card decks. This is cool. See, if it felt like there was only like a few things in the package, but I wasn't sure because it had some heft. Yeah, these feel like they're nice and thick. Check out that packaging, huh? That looks really nice. It's got a nice security seal there. So this is the um, playing cards. I remember that they did a Kickstarter for this. Wow, that's got a nice uh, embellished. Wow, this looks really nice. Let's start with this. Um, this looks so cool. So yeah, again, you have that seal. Very, very nice. Um, I did just buy a booster box of Nightfall that we're probably, I might live stream that one. Um, we're going to open that up. And uh, I think, it, oh, wow. So the whole thing's holographic. Wow, what a nice touch that is. You got the hollow pattern and it's not super prominent. It's not like taken away from anything on this box, but it's very nice little touch there. And of course you have the Mothman. I love this. You have like the three chase cards there. So Cryptid Nation 1, Nightfall and Wilderness, the three sets. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to do a Nightfall, like I said, live stream with you guys soon. Kind of like as a Halloween celebration. Oh, and it's got the Kickstarter logo right there, too. Oh, I just noticed that. Amazing. Okay. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have grabbed some. So we got 10 packs. I think these have one card in them each. I bet you I can open this without the scissors. Oh, yeah, they're easy to open. Oh, I'm so excited to check this out. <laughs> oh, Okay. Chibi Bigfoot to arms. Again, beautiful striking hollow, and I don't even have the best lighting. I don't have the best studio. I'm working with what I got, but that is a very nice card right here. Wow. So cool. And again, you have the Kickstarter logo right there. These are nice. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, it's going to have a very special feel to it. Like, anything that has the Kickstarter logo, in my opinion, is like, I feel like that's a badge of honor. Because, <laughs> like, you accomplish something. You got a fully funded Kickstarter. And I love a lot of new car games. I love supporting them on Kickstarter. Babe, the blue ox who ours. I love the art on this. How nice is this? Oh my goodness. These are so well done. I'm really, really excited to see the playing card decks too. I mean, these are amazing, but I'm sure the decks are equally as, as amazing. We got Jack Frost arms. So they're putting a lot of their, you know, beloved characters, some of everybody's favorites on these cards. The hearts. I love it. I love it. You know, you might love me or hate me for it, but I am not the fastest moving YouTuber. <laughs> Some people say, you know, I like that you take the time to look at the cards and other people are like, you move so slow. <laughs> uh, Jersey Devil, definitely a beloved one from Nightfall. I love that. And you can see nice little logo there, subtly in the background. Oh, I love that foil pattern on the red. Oh, my goodness. 
Yeah, big thank you to MetaZoo for sending this over. I didn't even know I had it waiting because I knew I had um, a couple packages waiting, but I didn't, for some reason, the slip for this one wasn't in my P.O. box, and then they brought it out from the back thing. Oh, Mothman! Very nice. This is a really cool Mothman card. Wow, yeah. Oh, I'm in love. <laughs> um, so I didn't even know I had a comment, so I had actually, I guess it was there a week ago. And um, it was a nice little surprise when I went to pick up some other packages. I had two in the P.O. box, and my P.O. box is on the smaller side. And, uh, oh, red ink, no way. That's a good choice. Red ink, two arms. There we go. Yeah, so I what I might do is I might switch. I know it's going to cost more money. I just renewed my P.O. box for the year. Um, but I might do the UPS ones because I think they deliver packages right to the house. Uh, people from out of the country will have an easier time sending me stuff. I love this. Look at how cute he is. Kinderhook blob to arms. And that foil pattern is popping like you wouldn't believe. I don't, I don't even know if the camera is making it look as good as it looks in person, but it looks just incredible. That is absolutely my, one of my favorite things that MetaZoo does is that hollow pattern that we all love very much. <gasps> Mothman to our, oh my God, look at this one. Oh, they really did, oh, two Mothman right there, Mothmen. <laughs> wow, that is so good. Wow, I love it, love it, love it. Oh my goodness, what a nice little set these. I I say if nothing else, absolutely grab this set up if you're a MetaZoo fan. You might say playing cards aren't my thing, but that's okay. I mean, the oh wow, Wendigo. Wendigo is one of my favorites for sure. One of my favorite cryptids. That is so nice. Yeah, I if you're a fan of MetaZoo, I don't think you could pass up on these cards. I really don't. If if you have a good collection going, do not miss out on these. Do not. Oh yeah, Iowa Dragon to Arms. Okay, that's another phenomenal one. Um so let's see what we got here. So if this was, ten, was this 10 or 12? Let's take a look. So this is 12 of 12, 6 of 12, 2 of 12, 7, 5, 1. Is it the full set? 4, 8, 3, 9. Okay, so I guess this isn't the full set. Now I got to get the ones I'm missing. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I thought it was, ten. Yeah. So if there's twelve in the set, that is a nice little, like, set that would be pretty easy to complete, too. Oh, my goodness. But the two Mothman, those have to be my favorites besides the Wendigo. Oh, I love them all. I love all of these. These are just, just great choices of characters right there. Um... Yeah, this is a 10 out of 10 in my book. I would I would consider that a must for a MetaZoo fan. So now let's take a look at these playing cards. These are really exciting too. Um, I'm actually, uh, I love playing poker. I love playing blackjack. Um, you know, I play with friends. I play at the casino. I don't think I'm the best player in the world, but I'm pretty good. I've gotten better over the past year, I'd say. I've been playing more. Oh my goodness, I better be so careful. I don't want to wreck these. Remember when I was opening those theme decks, I was like, ah, I sliced them. I want to keep the box preserved. I'm so curious what these look like. Oh, wow. Yeah, so again, like, this is very nicely embellished. It's got a very nice box. Look at the back of these. These are so nice. Oh, there we go. We've got a QR code. I'm sure you could pause it and take a look. Let's take a look at all these. Now, I'm sure um, the difference is, you know, you got... Uh, the Nightfall set, the Wilderness set, and then the Cryptid Nation set. I'll make sure I got everything out of there. 
So I'm assuming it has, you know, cryptids from those sets. Oh, these are so cool. And you got the Kickstarter logo right there. That is cool. Um, you know, I feel like these are really well thought out. The art is like just a nice classic style. It, yeah, it's just such, I cannot wait to play with these cards for real. <laughs> so yeah, they're actual playable cards. Robert the Doll, one out of 15. So this is interesting, the way that they're numbered. I'm not so sure, like, what that means as far as, uh, oh, we got the Mothman. Look at, that's gorgeous. Yeah, you guys might be able to inform me a little bit more about, you know, the numbers on here. If there's a ton of variations between, like, the same decks. Like, maybe you get different characters depending on, you know, which deck you get, which would be so cool. Um, now, this is my first time, you know, touching or seeing any of the the playing cards here. And, and they're a very nice thickness. You know, there's a nice, like sort of gloss to the back. They get they have a nice feel to them. They these are very very well made. Oh, those are cool. <laughs> the Wendigo is king. <laughs> very fitting. Oh, that's a cool one. That is very cool. We got Momo, Ludwig. Yeah, if you got these, let me know down in the comments. Uh, one thing that I saw that looked absolutely gorgeous was like those uncut sheets. I would love to hear if you wound up getting one of those. Yeah, and you still have what's nice is the information about each cryptid there. So if you're playing with, uh, you know, a friend who doesn't know much about cryptids, that's a good little uh, introduction, whether you're just playing, you know, a regular card game. We got the Grim Reaper as king on this one. That's nice. Bell Witch. Headless Coal Miner. Thunderbird. But yeah, I'm going to do a little more research on these to see if, like, there's so much variation or maybe not. Oh, we got hollows. <laughs> we got hollow playing cards. That is a really cool surprise I did not see coming. Wow, that's a very interesting hollow pattern. It's like a, like a mirror. Wow, nice rainbow. Whoa, you see that? Hopefully the camera is, like, catching... How nice that is. That's a cool little hollow. And then we're back to regular cards. Maybe they're just like randomly inserted. I don't know. <laughs> that was cool. And then the Joker old scratch. That is that is awesome. Oop, don't want to lose those wrappers. You know, I'm somebody who saves the wrappers when I can for for most types of cards that I open. But yeah, just this is a a phenomenally well made little set of playing cards. Now I got to see the wilderness ones. Let me, again, be careful opening these. <laughs> I'd be so sad if I damaged this really cool box. When they, oh, they're just, yeah, a great collector's item. Even if you're not a big card player. If, oh, see, there I go. Slicing the box is all bad. There we go. <laughs> gentle, gentle. My knife is like super sharp. It's a great knife. Oh, missing one there. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So again, the embellished box. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> the green man is a joker. I love that card. Are you kidding? Chibi Playground. Old Man Winter. Rose Robinson. Love that card. Father Time. Yeah, I got a couple wilderness boxes too, actually, because I um never opened those. And um I'd love to open that very soon as well. Oh, okay, we got a hollow. Again, that gorgeous rainbow pattern. Wow, yeah, so they must just be like one random one per deck, maybe? I don't know. That's what it's looking like to me. We got a Paul Bunyan, Chibi Jackalope, Golden Bear. Golden haired girl. Jackal. I love that one. It kind of kind of resembles a little Mothman. I like that. <laughs> Ball lightning. Unicorn. Love that unicorn. Explosive rabbit. Oh, I like that. Wampus cat. Wampus cat. I'm not sure. 
very, very nice. Stone eating Gaius Cutus. <laughs> oh, hey, it's my favorite. The Glastonbury Glowacus. So yeah, this is uh, the town that I live in. So I think that's very cool. Love the art for this one right here. Yeah, so that's going to be our chase card when we open our Wilderness Booster Box. We got a Chibi Bigfoot. We got Bigfoot. Deer Woman. Oh, that one's cool. Skunk Ape. Stone Man. Ozark Howler. Whoa, look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, these are cool. Whoa, Honey Island Swamp Monster. I'd be scared if I saw that out in the wild, in the wilderness. I don't know about you guys. Oh, Chibi Cumberland Dragon. That one's very cute. Very, very cute. And then we got the big Cumberland Dragon. Dragon of Oconto Falls. Iowa Dragon. Dublin Lake Monster. Snolagoster. <laughs> See, some of these names are, are tough because I'm just so not familiar with them. Lizard People. That one's easy. Green Clawed Monster. Peninsula Python. Sewer Alligator. Everybody loves Sewer Alligator. Alpha Gator. The Joker. And uh, again, a QR code. Very, very nice. We have that lovely green background on these. Slight gloss to them. Nothing too crazy. They're not like slippery. Oh, they sound great. <laughs> Yeah, let me know in the comments which of these decks is your favorite after you look at all of them. And then we have Cryptid Nation, where it all begins, right there. Oh, these are so fun to open and look at, though. They really are. Let me figure out how to open them. <laughs> There's like a little tab, I feel like. We're going to do this. We're going to get through this together. <laughs> Again, look at that nice texture on the box. That well-made box right there. Um, we are going to gently slice. Okay, we got them all out of there. Yeah, I love the boxes. Love, love, love them. Joker! There we go. Ingrid Cold is the Joker. Black Ink. Ooh! Mothman, of course. Quetzal Coatless. <laughs> Flatwoods Monster. That was easy. <laughs> You know, feel free to correct my pronunciation in the comments. I will never take that person. We got Squonk. Squonk coming in hot. I'm glad there's a Squonk in here. Bat Squatch. Giant Salamander. Joint Snake. One of Gary's favorite cryptids right there. Ghost Deer. Love the Ghost Deer. Chibi Mothman. Oh, he's like a, like a caterpillar. He's ba Oh, that makes sense. He's baby. He's babies. Blue ink. Excellent. Loveland Frogman. That one, I believe, is uh, Nick. Nick's strength in Pokemon. That's his favorite. Babe the Blue Ox. Bigfoot, or one of his favorites. I know he loves Mothman, too. He's got a nice Mothman collection. Uh, definitely my favorite MetaZoo YouTuber. If you guys are wondering who I support, I mean, I... I want to support everybody, but he's the one I, I absolutely watch the most. If I, I have notifications turned on for his live streams, and if I can make it to it, I'm there. Red Ink, Piazza Bird, love that card. Very nicely done. Snallygaster, Metal Man of Alabama. Hopefully I get to Alabama someday in my life. Tizer, Tizer Rook, Ghost Train, that one's really cool. Look at how cool that one is. Here is our hollow. It is Fresno Nightcrawlers. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, I have to I have to guess that they're they're one per pack for everybody. Um that's cool. Imagine trying to get every single one in a hollow. 
That's going to take some effort. We got Mantis Man. Gumbaroo. That's really cool, Gumbaroo art. I like that a lot. Green Ink. Hodog. Sinkhole Sam. I like that one. Jersey Devil. Love Jersey Devil. Chessie. Walking Sam. Uncle Sam. Tripodero. Bunny Man. The Char Man. <laughs> Wapaloozy. White Thang. Gigi Bird. And our Joker. And our QR code. Very, very nice. Oh, this was such a fun opening. These are so cool. Yes, yeah, poker will be played with these cards. I can promise you that. I'm going to feel so cool when I bring these out to poker night. Yeah, and these, yeah. I Even if the poker cards aren't your thing, these. These are some of the coolest MetaZoo hollows I have seen to date. And I've seen a lot of pretty cool ones. You guys, I hope you had fun watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And uh, I will see you all very soon. Bye for now and take care.